Hello and welcome back to Emma's Craft Creations, formerly known as DP211 with Emma. I am Emma, your hostess, it's not so much the mostess. If you're new to my channel, please stick around, hit subscribe, like this video and ring the bell for notifications and every time I upload a video or I'm about to go live, which I'm hoping will be happening again pretty soon, you'll be notified either on your phone, your PC, your tablet, wherever you get notifications for YouTube, that'll tell you. So welcome to this week's whipping chat, it will be a little weekly roundup as well. We're still working on the budget. So we're going to get cracking. I'm thinking I might do one or two today, but we'll see. We'll see how we go on. Let's just fold this back. Okay. Um. Okay. Find this little symbol. That's the. It's almost like a clover, but not quite a clover. Where are you? You're hiding. Is that you there? Yeah, I think that's that one. So how have y'all been? I'm trying to make an effort to be back on the tubes a bit more. So how is everyone? I am okay. I took a, a class last Saturday at So Confident in Glasgow. A pattern drafting class. I'm going to tell you more about that later. I've got a little bit of footage and some photos for you. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I, I really don't have that much to say at the moment. It's been really quiet this week. I've not been out, not had the money to go anywhere. So I'll probably just talk a lot of nonsense. But that's okay as long as I'm talking. And diamond painting, that's fine. I did film an unboxing video two days ago. Yeah, Tuesday. Well, at the time of recording, it would have been two days ago. Um, hang on. That's my box. But you won't get to see that until next month, May. Because it is the, the kit contents for the So Confident CCC the Confident Capital Collection course and right now at this point in time not everybody has their boxes so I don't want to upload it or post it up anywhere until everyone has their boxes that way there's no spoilers but yeah it was okay ah, actually quite dry. I've got some lovely running out it says it would, most of us know already, most of the, us doing the course already know the linen and I love it. I've only used linen once before and that was to make a pair of collots for one of their sew alongs and I absolutely love it. I didn't think I was going to enjoy working with that as much but you know what, I, I want more. <laughs> I want to make more things out of linen. <laughs> Is that sad? I don't care. Let's see, I'm trying to find this other symbol, hang on. There it's there. Seven ninety-two. Okay, but yeah, I've got some really. I've got a nice, lovely print for the dress that we're making on the course. I can't. Oh, I can't even show you any of it. I've got pictures of it. I can't even show you any of it because I don't want to put any spoilers up. But we did get. Hang on, I'll just try and grab these. Let's see if I can write it down. I did get this lovely pin. Now, in the last CCC, in the CCC challenge before the course opened up, we were talking about this. And it looks like they've listened and they've created them so because this is my second ccc but everybody is doing this one even the new starts i think uh, are, i've got this i think but yeah this is going on to my parka coat that's the pinking 
cream check coat that I showed you in my last whip and chat video. If you haven't seen that, go back and give it a wee watch. Watch till the end because it's the end where I put the photographs up of some of the stuff that I've made. But yeah, I love that. Welcome to the Spring Summer 2024. So here we can see Spring Summer 2024. You're now part of an exclusive community of sewers. Certified CCC member. This is their fifth CCC that they've done and that's them just bringing them out. So I'm actually quite pleased I've joined when I did because I knew that was going to be in the pipeline and I even spoke to the company's owner at the, at the exhibition centre for one of the ICHS craft fairs back in October that has to be done so looks like she's listened to some of us if not all of us. Oh yeah, I'll be wearing that wee badge next time I'm out. I love it. It's so cute and dinky. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this start and the live classes don't start until the 6th, 16th? 16th of May. Um, sorry, I'm distracted by your text. I shouldn't be. Yeah, 16th of May is when live classes start. So everybody should have their boxes by then. Right, hang on one second. Sorry about that. My husband just came home. Okay. How was I? CCC. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it starting this. The live classes, like I said, start. On the 16th of May. So it's given me quite a bit of time to get a few things done in preparation. Like finishing a few diamond paintings perhaps. Sewing my daughter's prom dress. I need to get that finished. So there's a few things I need to do. I also need to get my fabric for a jumpsuit cut out ready for the next sew along. I can't remember when that is. Um, I think it's in a few weeks. Let's see. Um, so long as The next one is, yep, the 13th of May, so just before the live classes start. So once you get that done as well. Let's see. Okay. Um, but yeah, I want to I want to get more personal sewing done before the course starts. My son wants to learn to sew as well, which I'm pleased about. I gave him a few bits to start him off with, like just a, a basic um, sewing kit, along with a little bundle of fat quarters of fabric. So, the only thing that's missing is the machine. I'm still waiting for that. Just a basic machine. That's all he would need for what he wants to do. I think it would be different if he was actually going into making garments. Which I don't think he wants to at the moment, but you never know, he might change his mind. When I first started sewing, I never, I never even thought I could make a dress, let alone anything else. Let alone a coat. Right, I think that's everything for this colour. Make sure my head's out of the way. I probably have missed some. I usually do. I'll come back to them if I do. Right. What's next? A. Capital A. Where are you hiding? My drills are just up here. I'm just having a look. Hmm, hope 
Hopefully I've got more of this colour. And then was that? 788. 792, 820. Nope. So that must be all I need for that colour then. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, I have to apologise if the sound quality is not great in my videos these days. The transmitter for my wireless mic is broken and also missing. So I can't even find it to fix it. So in a couple of weeks I will be getting a new one. A new set because I don't think I, I don't know if I can get the transmitter by itself. So my apologies. I, I was on my unboxing video. The sound will probably be better before you see the unboxing video because I was all, I've also already filmed that, and that's just waiting to be shown. Because I tried so much to get decent sound. So hopefully, I've done okay. But yeah, I will get that ordered up in a few weeks. I don't really plan on going out, so. I can use the money to get that instead. So I think, yeah, that's it for this colour, I think. I don't see any more capital A's. I don't know if you can see this, okay. 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 Have a quick look. Um, oh, there it is, 3842. Okie dokie. Right, so what I want to know is what is everybody else doing while watching this video? Leave leave a message in the comments. Let me know what you're up to. Are you diamond painting? Are you just sitting watching with a cup of tea, coffee? Um, gin, depending on what time of day or night it is you're watching. Whatever floats your boat. Are you just watching me drill with the sound off? That's fine too. <laughs> I don't mind. I see. So let me know what you're up to just now. All comments are replied to regardless if they are positive or negative. But try and keep them positive please. I don't need any more negativity. I've got a lot of that going on right now. Which I'm not going to get into. Not right now anyway. Oh, come on, get on the pen. Thank you. So, let's talk about... Let's talk about my class. So, last week, I took the pattern drafting class at So Confident in Glasgow. It's just for the bodice block. And the bodice block is basically the basic block needed to make pattern for a bodice where it could be the top of a dress a t-shirt shirt blouse that kind of thing and that's all that is so it's actually really quite good I took in about a meter and a half of calico to make a twelve and we got we took our measurements well we partnered up we buddied up so we can get measurements for places that we can't reach like around the back and stuff <laughs> wasn't going to be easy so we partnered up for that um, took, took our measurements made notes then using a book can't remember what it's called but I do have a photograph which I will put in I'll put it in here this photograph also show the pattern I drafted and pattern pieces I traced out and cut to make the 
the twirl board is. Now, if you don't know what a twirl is, if you're not a sewer, a twirl is a mock-up of a garment to see how it is for fit. That's all that is. So, this is the name of the book. Um, I'll show a photograph and if you can't see the, the picture of the book, I'll, I'll, I'll put a bit of text in just in case. And I plan on getting that book hopefully next week, two weeks time perhaps, we'll see. Because I want to do more than just obviously a bodice block. We didn't do sleeves. So if I was to continue with doing that and keep making more, all the tops I make are going to be sleeveless. So I want to get the books so I can do the sleeves and skirts and I don't know what else would be in there. I can only assume trousers would be, like the bottoms, like if it would be like trousers, shorts or whatever. So yeah, that was it was good. I found it incredibly informative. Um a lot of things made sense while while I was doing it. I said, okay, so that's how they work that bit out and that's how they, they, they figure out how to put so much on to this bit right. So yeah, it was a good class. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And the instructor, the, the tutor, that was his last day teaching there. Oh, quite sad. I've had, I took one of his classes before, back in January, there was a sew-along class. So basically you got to make a particular garment just for that class. And we all made the same one. So that's, it was the Style Arc Logan Shacket. And it was the same tutor. And he was just brilliant. He, he had so much patience. Especially with me, because I'm the idiot that sewed an inside of a pocket to my sleeve. Work that one out. I sewed, inseam po I sewed, I sewed an inseam pocket to the inside of my sleeve. I'm like, how did I do that? So he helped me out so much. Rookie mistake. I don't know how I managed that. I've, not some, I've done pockets before the class. Not many, but I've done them. So how on earth did I manage to get a pocket on a sleeve? I know, I know, go figure. But yeah, so this is a picture of me and Kevin. Kevin's a tutor. And yeah, it's sad to see him go, even though I've only taken two classes with him. There's a good vibe. He was helpful, not just for one person. He showed patience with everybody. He helped anybody that needed the help. He helped troubleshoot and problem solve and figure out, okay, well, Instead of doing this bit like that, do this bit like that. Or try doing this bit like that. He was great. So yeah, it was his last day. So I want to say a public farewell. Bye bye to Kevin. So, yeah. It was good though. My, I'm, I will have a couple of pictures near the end of me wearing the twelve, And I've got a little video to show you as well gist of the studio it's not just a studio it's also retail as well so you can go in you can actually buy machines from them because they're a genome dealer they're also a dealer for Husqvarna Viking and Babylock and I believe that's the only three they do I don't think they do Bernina or Singer or Brother so it's Janome, Husqvarna Viking and Babylock are the machine brands they sell so because they're dealers, they only have demos in store, demonstration machines in store, and obviously machines for the classes. That's another one, hang on. So what do you, what you do, you go in, they'll help you choose a machine, even demonstrate it if needed, let you get a little shot, and they'll order it up for you, it'll be can either pick it up or get it delivered or you can go on their website and order one up that way and they'll get it straight sent, sent get it sent straight to you so like i said it's not just a studio to teach it's also a shop 
So at the end I'll probably put, a, at, at the end, excuse me, mumbling, I'll put a, a video that I took of what they have in stock. Just like quickly going by having a quick look at what they have. That's including the machines they sell, sewing machines, overlockers and cover stitches. And if you're in a different country from the UK, an overlocker is a serger. Let's see. Is that that one? I think I'm finished with this colour. Sorry, hang on. Yeah, no, wait, there's one there. Oh, that was a close one. There always seems to be one or two I'll leave behind before I move on to the next colour. There we go. Right, so. But yeah, I really I thoroughly enjoyed it and I actually learned to sew was so confident about nine years ago it's only in the past year I've taken it back up again and learned to sew clothes so I've only been dressmaking for about a year and I now wish as much as I love my diamond painting I now wish I had brought my sewing machine out during lockdown instead of hiding in the room so I'm just See if I have this other colour, 80 instead of hiding in the room and diamond painting for so much. Oh, I hope I don't need any more than this. That's the last of the 803. Wonder if I've lost some. 823, 820, 792, 99, and 413. It's okay, I do know that I have a full set of square DMCs stored away so if I do need more I'll just jump up to my, my box which is on the shelf up here and get it I've still got quite a bit to go with this painting so we'll see what happens we'll see if I need more I might not this might be it but we'll see but yeah I really wish I brought my sewing machine out I'd imagine what my skills would be like if I started dressmaking four years ago instead of one I'd be, I'd be super happy. I've been making everything in every colour. <laughs> but I can't complain now because I don't have my salon anymore. Um, I just keep myself super occupied. I can't. I cannot sit still. I have to keep busy. I have to keep my hands busy, my mind busy. I have to focus on something. I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of us like that. Uh, what was it? Someone, someone said to me that they think I've got ants in my pants because I can't sit still. I need to stay busy. But sitting doing something with a hobby or getting up and being active, like cleaning the house or going out somewhere, but I can only really go out when I've got cash. Or even just money in my account would be good. There's another key. There's another key. I told you I was going to miss some. Every time. Every time. Oh well, we'll get back to it. Um, okay, so right, give me a second. Sorry, folks, I had to go and take care of something. And I totally lost my train of thought, no idea what I was talking about. I was away for a good five minutes. Um, so who all else? Who all else? Try that again. Is a sore kind of thing to make? Are you a, even? Are you a quilter? Um, I've dabbled, I suppose. Not using the machine though. I took a little workshop at the craft show for English paper piecing and I've kept it up so even if I'm not working on the machine or doing diamond painting I've got a little bit of hand sewn to go to get in with and it's building, it's getting bigger. I don't actually have an up to date picture of it but I'm enjoying it. It's quite relaxing really, it's therapeutic. I mean 
and just sit and watch TV and do a bit of hands on. You can take it with you if going on a long journey or if you're just meeting someone. You can sit and do a bit of hands on while you're waiting for them to arrive. It's it's quite good. I've not taken it out of the house though. Um, I think I'd just rather sit and watch TV or stream something and do it, but that's just me. I'll probably get some done later tonight. Not the best hand sewer, I will be honest with you, I'm actually quite terrible at it. But I think the more I do it, the better I'll get. And I'm enjoying it, so I don't care. I really don't care. It's only for me. There's, it's, yeah, it's going to be a quilt. Um, there isn't going to be any pattern, like a theme or a colour palette, really. Just using up little bits of fabric that I've got left over from the other projects, just to get rid of it without throwing it away. Because that's just wasteful. Like, people throw out clothes when they can be donated. I actually saw something. I saw something yesterday. What's it called? Fab dot brick. So it's like fabric. And what they do is they take in clothes that can't uh, that are past their best basically. They can't be worn anymore. They can't be passed on to anybody because they're not wearable anymore. And they turn them into bricks for building houses. Oh, I think that's what it's called. Hang on. I think I saw it on Instagram, but I'll have a giggle. Fab dot brick. Is that right? Fab bricks. Is that it? Oh, it's French. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Made in Paris. Recycled textile. Fab brick. We transform your textile waste into material for design and architecture. How good is that? As a sustainable way to recycle your textiles, like your fabrics, old clothes, beddings, anything really it's made of a kind of fabric. Look at this. Like a side table, like a coffee table stand. Look at that. So, hang on. click on, can I click on that? Probably not. Our recycled textile bricks are available for uh, sale. It can be used either as wall coverings or as finished products created on furniture, interior decoration and other furnishings in store or at home. You can create your own designs using a range of shapes and colours. It's, it's, it's amazing that there's actually a company that does this. I'm really, really, when I saw this, I'm like, ah, what? Wait a minute. Bricks made out of fabric. Fab brick. It's fantastic. Jeans. Okay, let's go on. zoom out a bit. We analyse your textile material to test the feasibility of its upgrading with our transformation process and recreate your material. This test is essential before each development project carried out with your material in order to have certification of certification of feasibility. Its price is then deducted from your project. I got a box of samples there. I thought it was fantastic. Founded in 2018 by Clarice Merlier. Fabric was her architectural degree project. Now it's in company with one vision and one mission. I right, I'll put a link in the description box for it. You can have a little look. But I thought that was amazing. Actually, doing something more sustainable with old textiles that can't like can't be used for their original purpose anymore. Yeah, you can. You can probably, if you're savvy enough, you could probably upcycle them yourself and make them into another garment or an accessory like a tote bag. But to actually do something like that, that's really clever. But yeah, it's quite amazing. I saw that. I saw it on Instagram yesterday. Wow. 
there's a lot of wastage out there and I think more companies should do that. Now this one is in France, I think. But can you imagine if that became a worldwide thing? If it went global? I, mean, I know some shops will bring, oh, take in old clothes that you no longer need and recycle them, which is good. However, I don't know if they'll take in any old clothes or just clothes that you've purchased from their store or their chain of stores. Right, I think that's it for that colour. John Lewis does it, I think, but I'm not too sure if it's just the clothes you bought from them or it's just any old clothes. There's, there is a lot in landfill of old clothing. And people need to make more use of clothing bags as well. Um, I got rid of a lot of old clothes during Covid and I was clearing my room out. And the clothing bins, the clothing banks were... I wouldn't say full, it was overflowing. There was literally nowhere to put your bag of clothes in, but that's where I... Um, yeah. That's where I threw, put a lot of my clothes. It didn't fit or couldn't be worn anymore. Now, like I said, I really wish I had brought my sewing machine back out and done something with them during COVID, but that is what it is. Anyway. Has anybody, actually that's a thought, who else has upcycled or, or recycled their old garments? Because that'll be interesting to know what you've actually done with them. If you've made them into something else, then I would be very interested to hear about it. I'm always looking for new ideas to upcycle or recycle my clothes. I hate wasting them. Every now and then I'll have a purge through my drawers and see what I no longer wear. And no, no longer can be worn. I have one t-shirt that I will keep and it's covered in hair colour and that's how I'll keep it because I use it when I'm colouring my hair. That's literally, uh, there's holes in it, it's covered in hair colour, it look, even wash, it looks dirty because of the brown stains of the hair colour. But I keep it just so I don't Ruin. I, I, could, I could wear a towel but the back of my neck, because I put a bit of weight back on, the back of my neck kind of folds so I'll end up rubbing the, the colour onto my towel. I don't have a towel just for colouring my hair. I have a t-shirt and once I've got the colour on I'll go round the, my hairline, let's see, round the forehead, behind the ears and round the back, nape of the neck, nape of the neck with a baby wipe so I don't stain my skin. Just how I've always done it. I find wearing a towel around my neck very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable, especially for more than 10 minutes. But yeah, that's the only one I'll keep. It's done. I customised it. It's just a plain white t shirt I got from Primark, Primark, how you want to pronounce it. And I Customise it with heat transfer vinyl saying feeling no no I swear because it's our initials I D G A F so feeling I D G A F ish today and I wore it to death and now I just wear it for colour my hair but yeah There's, I do have to go through my drawers anyway, oops, poppies, I have to go through my dressing drawers anyway, simply because it's now spring, the weather's getting warmer, so I have to swap out my autumn and winter wardrobe for the spring and summer wardrobe, so what I would normally do is put what I don't need to wear for the seasons, into vacuum storage bags and the clothes that I already have there they go into the drawers so I just swap them over and wait my drawers aren't getting overflown they're not they're not getting too full they're not overflowing with clothes that I'm not wearing at that point in time because it's too warm or too cold 
and they're stored and I have space for my current wardrobe for the season. So I'll need, I think I'll do that next week actually. Try to think. Next week, next week, yeah, I'll do it next week. Um, I know not everybody does that. To be honest with I say, when I, I kind of lied there, I said what I normally do. That's not true. I've done it once and that was last autumn when I was swapping out my summer clothes for my autumn winter clothes. So, but because obviously I'm going to need those clothes, it's a habit to keep up, just swapping them over, over the, for the seasons. Things like my dresses and things that I've handmade, with the exception of pajamas and I keep moving this silly thing, with the exception of pajamas and my leggings get hung up. Pajamas, leg pajamas and leggings will go in my drawer, but anything else that I've made or get hung up just because I can't be bothered ironing them before I put them on so get worn, get washed, get dried they get ironed and then they get hung up that way they're ready to go but if I wear, wash, dry them, put them in the drawer I don't want to spend that morning ironing when I want to get ready for the day Even if I iron them and put in the drawer, I would have to re-iron them. I know my luck. So my handmade more my handmade wardrobe for the vast majority of it is hanging up. And I prefer it that way. Um, but it's just I think it's just how my head works. Maybe I maybe I'm not alone with this one. Maybe I'm a bit crazy and I am alone with this one or I'm in the minority at least. I don't know. Don't care either. I'm happy with how I do these things. Um, Let me get a drink of water. Right. Um, so, not much has been happening really. I do have things happening in the future. Right, let's see. Uh, at the start of June, I will be attending the big social so it's s-e-w-c-i-a-l social um it's just somewhere i can actually do a bit of sewing in peace really and that's also at so confident um but i'm taking my own machine taking the project i'll be working on and i think i'm keeping my dress for summer well there's another a i'm sure i've done that one already I'm keeping my dress that I'm making for the summer because we're going to the beach in the summer just for a day but I want a nice easy breezy dress to wear so I'll be keeping that project for then or I can get somebody to help me to fit it to make sure it's going to sit on me but so there's that um, July is when we are going to the beach. Haven't decided where yet, but we're going. August, I think the only thing happening in August is my youngest daughter's 18th birthday. So that's a big one for her. September, I am going out on a night out with a sewing friend to Scottish Frock Tales. Yeah, I know, I think that was a brilliant name. Uh, I don't know how many events they've done with this, but this will be my first one. I'm pretty sure they've done it last year, but I didn't know about it. 
so I'm going to that in September. I'm looking forward to that. A night out just to get away. I've no idea if I'm going to make something just for it or wear something that I've already made. The point is, I wear something that I've made myself. But we'll see. We'll see. I might find something, or I might make something down the line and think, okay, I can actually wear this to frock tails. It's a nice wee night out. I think it's a Saturday night. So I've got my ticket for that. But and there's another craft show in October, which I plan on going to. Not got the ticket yet. I'm waiting to see if they do the VIP tickets for it first, because I got the VIP VIP tickets last time, and. That was like the best move I made for the craft fair. Simple because we got to use the VIP lounge. We didn't queue just for a coffee. Somewhere we could sit, store our bags and our coats. Best move was getting it was upgrading to a VIP ticket. So just I haven't got my ticket for this year for this October yet. I went last October, wasn't with the VIP, went with a sewing friend in March there. That was VIP, we both got a VIP ticket and I really hope they still they do, they do the VIP tickets for this one coming up in October because that was the best move that we both made. We just every time we got a few bags, we put them in so we can continue shopping hands free, it was great! Fantastic, I think that's it for that one. The ones that I've missed, like that A, which is kicking about here, and there's an RK, the three Ks, I will get at the end. I'm just going to continue with the ones that I'm doing just now. Let's see what's next. Oh, can't see you. Where are you? Hmm. There's a. Oh, I poured out too many. I don't even need as much as that. Oh, hang on. I'll grab the one upside down. Ow. Just stab myself. There you are. There. Sorted. So yeah, I've got a few things coming up this year, not a huge amount, but things that I'm looking forward to because I never really get to go anywhere anyway. I think my canvas is a little bit... should be okay though. Once I'm finished, it's, well, it's been sealed, flattened out, things like that, it'll be fine. So I'll tip with this one, let me see. Wait, this one up there. Plonk. There we go. Um, okay. A shamrock. Or a spade of your card player. I saw that. I saw that. It's there. 939. There's a lot of this one. Which I like. I don't mind colour blocking, if I'm being honest. And I have more, so... Fine. Right, I'm going to go with the bigger amounts first. Starting with up here. Well, then that bit, but you know what I mean. I'll probably do more of these sections without filming them. Just to get it done. Because I really want to get all my whips finished. I've got four. Gosh. I've got this one and I've got the line for the time lapse videos. I have a wolf. I think I've got a, a couple lions. I can't remember now. But I just want to get them finished. So I'll probably continue most of this one without filming. 
I never know, the next time you see it might actually be done. Ah, who knows? Anyway, I can't really think of anything else to talk about. I'll end up talking a lot of nonsense. Nothing interesting, just rubbish. It comes into my head. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to continue this. I will now put on the video I made of Soul Confidence Studio with some pictures that I took while I was there. Well, for the, the pattern drafting class. And this is actually quite annoying. Hang on. Give me a second. I just take these out so I can reapply. But yeah, I want to thank you all for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing or decide to do or plan on doing. Whether you're working tonight or working later this afternoon. I hope it goes well for you. And I shall see you all again. Tatty bye. Oh man on the corner Selling pencils from a cup Big man giving out orders Turns to us, says listen up Say goodbye.